Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Friday, August 21st, 2009. This morning I'd like to go through one of the simpler examples in the public repository. So I've gone over here under Repositories to Web Velocity Community, and down here I'm going to pick Temperature Converter App. This is a little example that our product manager, Arden Thomas, put together. It's a very simple little application. If I come and select this and go to Browse, I'll find there's one entry point, and I can check that if I put in, say, 20 degrees Celsius, then that's 68 degrees Fahrenheit. If I put in, say, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, that's zero Celsius. Not a terribly exciting application from the standpoint of productivity or anything, but it does illustrate something interesting about the way Seaside works if you're not that familiar with it. You come down here to render content on, and you have here a form with our Celsius converter, so its callback is C to F, and we have another form with the Fahrenheit converter. It's calling F to C. And those are just simple little methods that go ahead and do the temperature conversion using the standard formulas. So you see that I have two forms, and that way, when I hit return when I'm in one of them, it implements the callback. And if I hit return in the other one, it implements the callback. Now, it wouldn't be that hard to change this to use JavaScript so that it would notice the tab out of the field. But this is a nice, simple example that illustrates how web velocity and Seaside work and gives you a simple way to use a form and have stuff actually happen on the screen. So kind of a simple example. It doesn't use database technology or anything, but it does illustrate how some basics of Seaside and web velocity operate. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.